I'm not Nick Lemon, actually. Um, hello, my name is uh, Guy Lagash. Um, I'm a Columbia alumnus. I'm also the anchor and executive producer of Capital, a primetime business and investigative show on M6 uh, French TV. Uh, as a member of the host committee and uh, as a journalist, I'd like to tell you how proud I am to introduce this media panel. Columbia changed my life. It's been almost 20 years since I graduated from general studies and then journalism, but my education at Columbia still inspires me today. The reason is quite simple. Beyond the learning the techniques of reporting and writing, the School of Journalism taught me something that I believe to be fundamental to become a journalist. The purpose of journalism is not just to deliver news. Reporting the news means explaining and deciphering information. In other words, putting facts in perspective so that the people that you work for, that is the public, the citizens, have a better knowledge about what's going on around them, which ultimately leads them to make better choices in their lives. This was, I believe, Joseph Pulitzer's philosophy when he created the school in the 1900, in the early 1900. Here's what he said at the time. Our republic will rise or fall together a cynical, mercenary, demagogic press will produce in time a people as base as itself. The power to mold the future of the republic will be in the hands of the journalists of future generation. Well, this statement has stayed with me since I left school. Basically what it means is that journalism is a public service and therefore an essential tool for our democracy. I believe I would not be holding the job I have today had it not been for my education at Columbia. This is why I'm involved today with CAA, to have the opportunity to speak out about these principles, and I believe it is even more critical and crucial today with the intense development of new media. When I graduated in 1990, you only had three types of media, basically. Print, radio, television. At the time you had CNN, but Fox News did not exist. MSNBC did not exist. Al Jazeera, of course, did not exist. The internet had not yet invaded our lives, nor had this small object, mobile phone. So how's the surge of these new media changing the way we journalists do our job, especially with the advent of blogs and citizen reporters. Another question is, in an era dominated by political spin doctors and communication-driven corporations, how can these media help us remain independent in the way we report news? And overall, in a global, globalized world, can journalists transcend national perspective? To address these issues, let me introduce you to four outstanding figures in journalism. Hipek Cem Taha, host and producer of global programs on NTV Turkey. Michael Oreskes, executive editors of the Herald Tribune. Richard Sembrook, director of BBC's Global News. And our moderator, Nick Lemon, the dean of the Columbia University Graduate School of Journalism. Nick Lemon. <laughs> 